this is Balls Down 295 and I'm gonna show you guys how to get Android Xron on here and um what he did he basically just took uh, Cyanogen mods CM7 and made it better faster it just runs better overall and I'm gonna show you guys that I'm running it on here so All right, so it's right here, and he took it from alpha all the way to beta. See, Cyanogen mod 7.1 Xronified Alpha 3. Well, that's just the name of it, but the B right here stands for beta 1.3. So it's way faster than um the regular Cyanogen mod version. It's more fluent. It's faster, smoother. It just overall runs better than the regular Cyanogen mod Alpha 3. He just took it and he built off of it. And it's way smoother. It loads up. Less crashing, I've noticed already. And I'm just going to show you. So if you already have your um, touchpad rooted and you have the regular Cyanogen mod 7, I'm going to show you how to put the Exron version. So... I'm going to put a link in the description so you're able to download it. And I downloaded it straight onto my, my touchpad. I didn't even put it on my computer. So I'm going to put the link. And once you download it, that's how it's going to work. So, all right. So it's already my touchpad. I already downloaded it. You could download it straight into the touchpad. You don't need to do anything else. I'm going to shut it off. Okay. And I backed up everything with titanium backup. So, since I want to keep everything the way it was, so it's shutting off, shut off, and now I'm going to turn it back on. And you just want to go to Clockwork Mod. Go ahead and push your home button to select it. This is so smudged. All right, so you want to go down to wipe data factory reset, hit the home button, and you want to go and click yes, hit the home button, and it's going to do a data factory reset. You want to go down to wipe catch the cache partition. You can't really see that. And then you want to go, yes, wipe catch. Hit the home button. This is just an easier way without you having to use your computer. All right. So I already wiped the catch. Now you go to advance. So I went to advance. Hit the home button. Then you want to hit... Wipe Dalvik catch. So hit the home button. Go to yes. Wipe Dalvik catch. And wipe the Dalvik catch. You see all the instructions right there. All right. So if you have battery problems, you might want to wipe the battery status. But I haven't had any, so everything's fine. So I'm just go back. Now you got to. Install zip from SD card, so, and then choose zip from SD card, and I'm selecting all of this by hitting the home button. So, all right, if you download it straight onto your HP touchpad, it's download. Sorry about that. So, download, not downloads. And then I have two versions on here: the older version, which is the uh, B one point two. And then the new version that just came out, the B1.3. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the B1.3, which is right there. I selected it. I'm going to hit the home button. You want to go to yes to install it. So hit the home button. And now it's installing it. And you should see that right there. 
team X wrong, and that's the team that um and that's how you spell it. Aside from Sianogen Mod team, and to tell you the truth, they're doing pretty good. Uh, they're very consistent. They, I've noticed they've been putting out an update every week, or uh, almost a week, maybe six days. So this one just came out. If there are new updates, I'll post the link to the new one, or I'll just put update on the comment section saying which is the latest version and stuff like that okay so it finished and you can see install from sd card complete so now i'm just gonna go ahead and go back so go back click the home button that's how you select everything so. and just reboot your device which is at the top of the home button and you could just wait or you could hit the home button and it will start loading up and that's their logo and it's loading this is cyanogen mod like the regular one and the first boot up it takes a while but um, it'll vibrate and then your home screen will pop up so it's just loading right now all right i'm gonna skip this next next and there it is so i'm just gonna um do restore with titanium backup real quick and then i'll come back all right so titanium backup just finished loading up so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button and everything is the way it was before Except for the widgets, you have to put your widgets back the way you had them. But titanium backup saves you a lot of time. So if you never used it, you have questions about it, you could uh, send me a message. Also, if you want me to put up a video on how to root your device, I would be happy to make one of those too. If there are any updates, if a 1.4 version comes out or anything better. I'll be sure to put an update in the comment section. Be sure to check that out before you um, install anything. And uh, this is Boss Dawn 2095, and that's how to install the XROM version, which I think is way better than the regular Cyanogen Mod version. And it is a build off of Cyanogen Mod. So I'm not saying that Cyanogen Mod is not good, it's just they haven't been putting out for the touchpad constant updates like the Xtron team they've really been putting in a lot of work every week they've been putting in up a new update and every time it just gets better faster smoother it's way better so this is balls down 29 and i'm out be sure to rate comment and subscribe and uh, send me any messages with any questions